YouTubers, I want to welcome you to another edition of Parking Bin Gear. And this time around, um, I hope you've been subscribing and following the videos. Uh, because a while ago we did a uh, did a video on the new X MG300, right? Which was a uh, basically a Amp modeler with built in effects and things, and a looper and those kinds of things. Well, here I've got something similar, but you won't believe this. It's even smaller. Right? Check this out. Here it is. Can you believe that? This is the Hotone Ampero Mini. And man, is it small. I mean, look at that. It has a touch screen right here and two knobs, and that's it. Now, of course, it has a USB out so that you can uh, take this and uh, use the online application. But I wanted to see what I could do with this thing right out of the box. Right? And it was basically a cinch to to navigate around with the touch screen. I thought it may be complicated, but it wasn't at all. It was very simple. So let's take a listen to this thing. And it has a, a quite a few uh, built-in effects, you know. And the looper, which we'll get to here soon. Um, is excellent. It, it, it's every bit as good as the one on the MG300. Yet it's in this tiny little... Yeah, this is just a preset. Presets are okay. They're, they're not the greatest, really. Um, definitely making your own is where you know this unit shines. <laughs> So here's a preset I've made. If I hold down the two foot switches, it takes me into looping mode. Very simple. Hit the first button to record or to overdub, and the second button stops it.
one thing I like to do with these, right? Because <coughs> I really consider them kind of all in one unit. That you could take to a coffee house gig or whatever. You know, keep it in your gig bag or, you know, that kind of thing. Is to add a bass line, right? An emulated bass line, you know, from an octaver or that. And this thing has an octaver. But guess what? Unfortunately, it sucks. It sucks just as bad as the Valentin GP100. They both have a... Well, they sound terrible. And this one sounds like this. And this is after spending quite a bit of time trying to get a, a bass sound. So we'll add that to our loop here. better off using a external octave pedal or something with this thing. Okay, that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, then the other thing is um, the effects, right? Mm -hmm.
actually, uh, the effects are actually quite good in this. I mean, in this preset, if we looped it. Um, as far as the power of the 
delays and lengths of times and things.
Okay, so I've added some bass to that loop, right, with the octave, and here's what it sounds like. drum machine but if you listen to that bass emulation it sounds like freaking toys are us you know what was that oompa loompas i mean come on give me a break here I mean, this is like willy wonka bass or something That's a real shame that they didn't um, spend more time on the octave again. You know, these companies do that. They, I don't know, maybe it's, um, you know, processor intensive and they can't. That's very possible. You know. So that's really my main gripe with this unit. Um, and the other thing is, I'd have to get used to the effects. I mean, this would take a lot of tweaking, you know, to get the sound that I would want out of it anyway. Uh, but I think it's possible, you know, and I, I think the sounds are, are, are really decent in it. But as far as the bass emulation, it's just not there, you know. You would definitely need an external pedal. Now, does this make this thing useless? No, not at all. In fact, most people aren't going to be doing bass emulation on it, so they don't care. But just guitar sound-wise, it's really great. And even though being this small, I can get around it pretty well, pretty easily. You know, even the global settings and those kinds of things. Um, so it's, it is a really neat unit as far as that goes. You know, um, yeah. And that's the thing, when, when you make your own presets, you know, you get a, a decent sound.
Price-wise, it's really a great price. Two, the looper's great. Um, the effects with work can be really nice. Um, even, even though... Uh, Even though there are more effects in this unit than there are in the MG300, the new X, um, the new X definitely holds its own, right? As far as effects go, and really, I was hoping, as far as the presets go, that there'd be a lot more clean presets than there were, and the clean ones were a little below average, I think. Um, but when you make your own, it's okay. You know, if I had to give this one an overall grade, um, I'd give it probably a B plus, right? Because remember the MG300, I think we gave it a grade of A minus in past videos. So this is a solid B plus. And for the price, you know, it's about, what, 250 bucks new. Used, I see them for about 200, so, you know. I mean, it does quite a bit. And if you were to spend the time, remember, I've only had this unit a couple hours. If you spent the time tweaking it, you could probably get sounds that you'd be real happy with. You know, the choruses and things are, are fine as well. And this seems to be a trend that these all-in-one inexpensive budget amp modelers they all seem to suffer from these really crummy pitch shifters, you know, octave, octavers as far as the bass goes. You know, I've yet to find one that actually sounds really good. The closest I found was on the new XMG 300, you know. I mean, this sounded more like, you know, kind of Willy Wonka kind of stuff, you know, as far as the bass octaver goes. And, I mean, the other presets are nice, but they're just, you know, not for me, definitely. Yeah. Like, here's one. Let me edit it a little bit.
of these amps are set up for kind of high gain stuff. So for clean sounds, you really want to edit them if you can. a church one.
Believe it or not, it even has a shimmer reverb, which you wouldn't expect to find on a budget unit like this, you know? The shimmer. you tweak them are really decent. The stock presets are not very good. Let's put it that way. Um, now, at least for clean sounds. Now, high gain, they may be fine. And there's tons of preset for that kind of thing. Uh, the other thing is I found that it has acoustic simulators, uh, which can sound very interesting as well. Kind of a, you know, acoustic electric kind of sound. Um, let me see if I can find one here. Yeah, for example, here's one, an acoustic simulator.
I know this one's kind of neat. It has a swell um, signal. see I mean just playing along with it you know you can create sounds that you'd be happy with you know um, and for me it's not a total deal breaker as far as the octave goes because they can always use an external you know pedal just for the octave stuff which it seems to be the Achilles heel you know, in this unit and the MG300 and the Valvatin GP100. They just can't do the octave thing very convincingly. You know, maybe it's just too much processing power, I don't know. In any case, I wanted to show you that. It's the Ampero Mini. It'd be something to consider, definitely, if you haven't tried one. I highly recommend that you try it and see if it works for you. Alright, very good. See you next time. <laughs>